Sure, I just want to get to Rabbi Alex Goldberg because uh, this whole issue this week, of course, uh, Rabbi Goldberg, sparked by um, allegations of racist language and how that should be dealt with on the football pitch. Why do you think it's so important that there is zero tolerance of this kind of language? I think that football is our national game. Uh, it's a big business. It's a business that has uh, grown exponentially in the last 20 years with television rights. And so therefore it's reflective of society at large. And therefore we need zero tolerance. I, I work alongside many, uh, many fellow FA, FA ambassadors of the Football Association, including Garth Crooks and Cyril Regis and um, Brendan Batten, who experienced what John Barnes experienced, or he just said he didn't experience, but anyway, in the early 80s, where, where there was overt racism. And yes, that has changed, but let's just look in the last year. I've been to a football match in London where football fans have been singing so anti-Semitic songs about Auschwitz and the gas chambers. Mm -hmm. Surely that's not acceptable to anybody, including, including your guests who question where the line is. Neil Lennon, uh, who's the manager of Celtic on a sectarian front, and that, that is a form of racism, it was anti-Irish racism, uh, you know, received a, uh, some sort of bomb device. This is going far, far too far. What, what's, and also, when we've got young players coming up throughout the football divisions, we want them to feel comfortable in the yeah. game. Okay. If, you're, if you're a young superstar, if you're a young superstar, you, 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 uh, you don't need every week to have that sort of racist abuse. Rabbi Alex Goldberg, we have to... Set Blatter is totally and totally out of touch. Yeah. Uh, okay. And I think that my final, my final point here would be, you know, in terms of... He, he, he's put the game back, and in terms of his handshake policy, I think many of us this week think that FIFA should shake his hand and show him the door. <laughs>